Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to solve day 22 problem of this month on Lead Code. If you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. And I am hoping that you guys are also solving one question daily at least on this platform. Okay, so now uh, without any delay, let's understand today's problem. Okay, so in this problem, we have to find the town judge. So here it is saying that in a town there are total n people okay labeled from 1 to n and there is one rumor that one of these people is secretly the town judge okay so in this problem we have to just find this town judge and if the person town judge exists then these two conditions must be satisfied okay so one condition is that the town judge trusts nobody okay so he is just like a one cold person he doesn't trust anyone walking down the street and is not trusting anyone but everybody trust the town judge okay so this guy is trusted by everyone but he is not trusting anyone okay strange character right and then uh, there is exactly one person that satisfied properties one and two so this is given that at least one person in our problem uh, is there who satisfies both these conditions so for a town judge exists these two conditions must be satisfied okay and you are given an array trust okay so this trust array given to us and it has two values a and b and it is representing that the person labeled a is trusting the person labeled b so here in this particular example one one is trusting two okay if a trust relationship doesn't exist in trust array then such a trust relationship doesn't exist and in the end we have to return the label of the town judge if the town judge exists and can be identified or otherwise we have to return minus one okay so here in this problem so let me copy uh, these examples uh, here for better understanding okay so here uh, let's uh, go over the example number one first okay example one so here n is equal to two given to us so that simply means that there are two people so one and Two. okay two people are there now one is trusting two one is trusting two right but two is not uh, trusting uh, trusting anyone two is not trusting anyone two is not trusting anyone okay not let me write it two is not trusting anyone and two is trusted by everyone this is what we have to find right so here two is not trusting anyone but two is trusted by everyone so we have to just return the output as two okay in this case n is equal to three given to us so that means there are total three people one two three okay one is trusting three 2 is trusting 3 okay but 3 is not trusting anyone 3 is not trusting anyone and 3 is trusted by both 1 and both 2 3 is trusted by all the people but 3 is not trusting anyone so this is the secret guy right so we have to return 3 now let's understand example number 3 so in example number 3 n is equal to 3 given to us that simply means that there are total 3 people 1 2 and 3 one is trusting three good two is trusting three okay three is also trusting one okay so here all the persons are trusting one another one is trusting a three guy two is trusting three guy and three is trusting one guy but our judge should not trust anyone so in this case we are just returning minus one okay so now uh, let's take one more example let's say my n is equal to my n is equal to 3 given to me and trust array is like this trust is equal to 1 is trusting 2 and 2 is trusting 3 okay so now uh, think about this what is the output of for this one guess take a guess while i'm writing this output is equal to okay so what's your guess for this problem for this uh, what is the output for this particular example okay Think about it. 
now I am going to solve it. I hope that uh, you guys have uh, some answer. So here uh, n is equal to 3. That simply means that uh, there are total 3 people. 1, 2, 3. 1 is trusting 2. 1 is trusting 2. 2 is th trusting 3. Okay. So what's the output? Is it 3 or minus 1? So output for this one is minus 1. What is the reason? See here. 1 is trusting 2, 2 is trusting 3, 3 is not trusting anyone, 3 is not trusting anyone. So one condition is sat that satisfied that our judge is not, that, let's say if 3 is the judge, so he, it is, so our judge is not trusting anyone. So one condition is satisfied. But what about second condition? Second condition is that 3 should be trusted by everyone. Here 3 is trusted by just 2, but 1 is not trusting 3. 1 is not trusting 3, right? So 3 should be trusted by everyone and 3 should not trust anyone. This should be the condition for him to be judged. But here in this case 3 is just trusted by 2 and not by 1. That is why we have to return minus 1. Okay. So I hope that you guys are clear. And I am also trusting that you guys will subscribe my channel and press the like button. Okay. So now uh, let's write the code for this one. So first, uh, what we are going to do here, we are going to create one array to keep track of the number of trusts received by each person. Okay. So here, int trust count is equal to new int n plus 1. Why n plus 1? because there are total n people now n is equal to 2 here n is equal to uh, let's say this n is equal to 3 okay so how many times we uh, the one guy can be trusted by others so it could be uh, three times only three times okay that is why 3 plus 1 size is taken here trust is equal to trust n plus 1 now after that we are going to iterate through the trust relationships and update the trust count array okay so I am using one for each group for int relation and I am going through each relation in trust so here this is my trust so one by one I am picking the relation so this is first relation this is second relation this is third relation right so let's say first I pick the first relation so the rest count here i am storing the count okay in trust count in trust count i am passing a relation first let's say i have picked this particular relation so this particular relation first index that is zero relation of zero relation of zero it should be this person is trusting uh, someone else this person person is trusting someone that this one is trusting three okay so this uh, if he is trusting someone then uh, he is not our judge okay he is not our judge so that's why uh, i am just decrementing his count okay and trust count in this particular relation 3 is trusted by 1 okay so 3 is trusted by someone so 3 can be written like this relation relation is my array okay I'm going one by one now. so this is one array this is second array so relation of 1 that is nothing but my second element in particular array so 3 is trusted by someone 3 is trusted by someone so I am incrementing the count okay so in the end if a person is trusted by everyone so let's say if a judge is trusted by everyone so here see he is a judge 3 so 3 is trusted by 1 and 3 is trusted by 2 so total count uh, for him is 2 because a town judge trusts nobody so this condition we are going to satisfy but here one more thing everybody except for the town judge trust the town judge so that means n minus 1 everybody except the town judge that there are n people one is judge right so n minus one people trust the town judge right so if uh, 
this count becomes n minus 1 then we have to just return that this uh, we have found the person okay we are just going to return that okay so I am going to tell you how we are going to return so I hope that you guys are clear for this loop okay now after that we are going to check if there is a person who is trusted by n minus 1 people so for that I am going to run one more for loop for person is equal to 1 person is less than equal to n person plus plus okay and if my trust count of a person if trust count of a person is equal to nothing but n minus 1 that simply means that this guy is the culprit not culprit sorry this guy is the judge okay so we have to just return person and in the end if no town judge is found then we have to just return minus 1 okay so now uh, let me run this code okay so okay we have to initialize this int anything else so all the test cases has been accepted okay so here uh, I also take one extra uh, input n is equal to 3 trust is 1 2 2 3 okay so let me create that one as well for your better understanding okay so here case 4 3 is equal to 1 2 1 2 2 3 okay so this is the uh, input taken by me right 1 2 2 3 3 1 2 2 3 and output is minus 1 okay so now uh, let's submit our code and we have found the, our secret person okay secret person that is nothing but town dutch okay so now let's submit it so our solution is accepted right and uh, i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem if you guys still have any doubts then please ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you in the next video and don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you bye bye